I think when I was in elementary school, I used to get dropped off earlier than the rest of the kids. So I would do drawings at home and I would bring them to my art teacher. No one was there and I would have her critique me. So I remember that being a thing. I don't feel like she was very impressed, but she would like tell me how I could like improve it. Yeah, so I think that was my first. I don't, I don't think I realized what I was doing. Um, maybe I just wanted praise, but I don't know if I was thinking that I was gonna like translate that into a career. I wasn't thinking that far. I think it was my senior year that I won like an award for a senior year, like creative senior or something like that. And then uh, people at school will start uh, associating me with being an artist. So I think that was, I think it was more people like started identifying me as an artist before I started identifying myself. There's no artists in my family, so for them, I don't think they're doing it in like a negative way or be malicious, but um, for them, they didn't see anywhere where it could go for me possibly that would be beneficial. Took my focus off, off of the negativity to think about that if I could just prove to myself that whatever this yearning is, that I know that if I could just learn more, I would be better. I guess that gave me the motivation when I saw the progress that I was making and that whatever that inkling was inside of me, I felt like it was like sending me in the right direction because it was true. If I just applied myself, I did get better. I just have always knew at the end of the day that I had the possibility to be a good artist, a great artist. So I just did whatever I needed to do to work towards that. But I mean, honestly, I really didn't have any plan beyond that, which is pretty bad, but it just all just managed to like fall into place. I felt imposter syndrome when I first started working on murals because I had no idea what I was doing. And the first mural that I did was like 18 feet by 15 feet. So I had never done anything in that scale. I had no idea how to do anything with stucco, but I knew that it, it, couldn't, have, it couldn't be that hard. It's, it's the same concept of like translating work onto a canvas. The only difference is you have like all these outside elements that are out of your control. So I kind of felt like an imposter telling people like, yeah, I can get this done, no problem. I just want to be in demand. I want to be in demand where the work that I make is valuable to people, not commissions, not work that they see my skill set and think, you know, this would be a nice concept for her to do. I want people to look at the concepts I've already made and be interested in purchasing those. That's what it would be for me at the end of the day. I think some people get uh, a little confused when I say I don't want to talk about race in my painting because I've gotten um, responses that I am that I'm ashamed of my race and that I'm not like embracing it. But I don't think people realize that trauma, black trauma is not um, an identity. And I don't want young kids to think that that's all that they have to inherit or what they have to look forward to when they grow up. I don't want my work to be traumatic for anybody. I think that there's a lot of misconception about like what it is to be black. So a lot of times I want people to look at my artwork and be more interested in the individualism in each person and not collectively put them together in a group or make assumptions about them. That's why I make um, the backgrounds and um, a lot of the elements within it like very ambiguous. So there's a lot of room for interpretation that doesn't have anything to do with race. I do think that artists have a great opportunity to set the stage for conversations, especially like tough conversations. But I don't really feel as though artists have to do that. I think as a black artist that sometimes you can't really get away from that because people are gonna interpret your work as like a political statement regardless. I pray and hope for the next generation that they won't have to deal with it, that they'll be able to just express themselves and take on any subject matter that they want to.